Western Discovery Laos, a landlocked country in Southeast Asia, is home to one of the most bizarre historical spectacles archaeologists have ever laid eyes on. Spanning hundreds of square kilometers of rugged grassland is the Plain of Jars, so-called because of the 3,000 massive hollow stone vessels scattered across the land, some weighing up to 30 tons and measuring up to 10 feet in height. The plain incorporates numerous mountain ridges, forests, and fields north of the Laos capital, Vientiane. In addition to the local Laotian people, these lands are stalked by tigers and other hidden dangers. The locals have long known about the Plain of Jars, but their relatively recent western discovery in the early 20th century prompted archaeologists to try and solve the puzzle of these mysterious stone vessels. French archaeologists were among the first Westerners to study the jars. One, named Henri Parmentier, noted that, while most of the jars were empty, some still contained items, such as ceramic pots, small weapons, and odd trinkets, including glass beads, bronze jewelry, and children's teeth. It was also noted that several contained remnants of human bones. Close inspection finds a few of the jars adorned with primitive carvings of human faces and figures. Laying amongst the monolithic jars are circular disks of stone, presumably lids, which, according to UNESCO, are, quote, also sometimes carved with representations of humans, tigers, or monkeys. One of the enormous jars features an odd frogman carving, a possible reference to, or relative of, the frogman painting at Huashan, China, which contains some of the oldest known cave paintings. Archaeologists initially estimated the jars to be some 2,000 years old, which would make them products of the Iron Age. However, a recent study published in 2021 has revealed that they may in fact be more than 3,000 years old. While their true origins and purpose have baffled many academics, historians, and anthropologists, the locals have their own explanations. The Giants The locals of Laos tell of a legend, passed down by the elders from generation to generation, and still believed by many of the Lao people to this day. The legend says that Laos was once home to a race of giants, led by their king, Kun Chung, who waged a long and hard war against an evil enemy, ultimately emerging victorious. To celebrate and toast his victory, vast quantities of a rice wine known as Lao Hai would be required. To brew and store the wine, the king of the giants created the huge jars from which they could also drink. One of the greatest mysteries for modern researchers is in the logistics of how an early civilization could have managed to transport such immense and heavy objects from the quarry to their resting place, a journey of up to 10 kilometers, largely uphill. Some might say this supports the theory that the jars were once hewn by thirsty giants. The Indian Jars Approximately 500 miles from the Plain of Jars in India is the Assam Forest. In 2020, a survey of the region found that the forest contained a number of large stone jars, similar to those in Laos. Mysteriously, the jars being excavated in Assam are made from a sandstone not known to be found near the site. Researchers speculate that the jars may have been dragged great distances and note that doing so would require a team of hundreds. With the Indian jars being such a recent discovery, archaeologists have barely scratched the surface in their understanding, and they continue to discover more and more of these sites in Assam. They've also found inside the jars the impressions of the iron tools once used to carve them from boulders. It is unclear just how much the Indian jars have in common with those found on the plain of jars, but it has been noted by some researchers that they too contain cremated bone fragments. The secrets of the Assam region and its monolithic stone jars are yet to be revealed, as are the details regarding how they relate to their Lao counterparts. The Secret War
study of the jars in Laos has been hindered by the terrible remnants of a little-known conflict known as the Secret War or the Laotian Civil War. Between 1964 and 1969, the plane was the subject of extended explosive bombardment by the United States Air Force, targeting North Vietnamese and Pathet Lao communist armies in the area. During this period, more than 262 million anti-personnel cluster bombs were dropped. The damage to the jars was substantial. Many now lay broken or overturned in craters created by the explosives, and the consequences of this bombardment still loom over the land and its local population today. Of those 262 million cluster bombs dropped, an estimated 80 million did not explode, and many lay on and around the plain of jars, posing a fatal threat to anyone who strays off the paths known to be safe. Movement in the area is heavily restricted by the unexploded bombs. Efforts to clear bombs are slow but ongoing. Seven jar sites have now been cleared, but estimates suggest that fewer than 10% of the jars have been formally investigated. Despite the ongoing efforts to rid the plane of unexploded munitions, dozens of Laotians tragically perish each year. Modern Conclusions Interest in the Plain of Jars has never waned, and it remains one of the most important sites for archaeological research on the planet. Consequently, in 2019, it was named a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. With advanced methods, such as radiocarbon dating, geochemistry, and ground-penetrating radar, modern research continues to reveal more about the jars, their purpose, and their creators. This contemporary research finds that human burials took place on the Plain of Jars, with bodies being buried alongside the jars sometime between 700 and 1200 years ago. This suggests that the Plain of Jars has held ritual significance to multiple cultures over an extended period. It has also been found in recent years that, while most of the jars are carved from sandstone, others are made from much harder stone, including limestone and granite. One working theory supported by some evidence is that the jars had a practical use. They may have been designed to catch rainwater during monsoon season, for use by travelers passing through later in the year. A more macabre explanation is that the jars were part of a unique burial tradition. It was customary in certain cultures for dead bodies to be placed above ground to decompose and dry out, allowing the soul to make its transition to the spiritual world before a final cremation or burial. This theory has been lent weight by another recent study, which found 18 more examples of human burial amongst the jars, 60% of which were infants or babies. Undoubtedly, as technology and the field of archaeological study progresses, and as the remaining munitions are cleared, more information will continue to present itself. Perhaps we will one day learn the truth about the mysterious plane of jars, whether they're rain traps, burial containers, or drinking vessels for a long-lost race of Laotian giants. Yes, this is a new channel. Subscribe to the new Dark Five Ancient Mysteries for more of antiquity's greatest tales. We created this channel to tell more amazing stories and examine unexplained clues about our ancient past. 